Yeah, man, so I feel great today, man. I had, I'm going to be doing MRI on my spine. Talk to a spine, spine surgeon, a, neuro, a neurosurgeon. There was another guy that was in here the other day talking about my spine and stuff like that. They're going to work together. Um, still a big decision to make um, possibly next week. Um, but we're not going to worry about that next week. We're going to worry about today, which is Saturday. Okay? We're going to enjoy ourselves today. And tomorrow I'll get out, hopefully, because I do my MRI sometime today. It's nice out here. Uh, I came into to some great people, great women today. Oh, my God. Like, I'm talking about just conversation. I met one that can be like a home health aide, check on me, little young one. I'm not into that funny money trying to have sex. I'm I'm not into that with these young girls. Like, uh, but she does a great job, and um, she knows how to. <laughs> she knows how to. So I told you guys. If everything worked out, I, I'm not even gonna get into that. I have, I have, I've designed clothes. I have like three or four different clothing brands that I have right now in my back pocket. One of them is major in trucking. I have a trucking clothing brand that I've already designed. She says she know how to, to do A, B, and C with the shirts, whatever, everything. Like she she showed me some designs that she has. So she already she already doing that as a, as a young age. These young uh, let me tell y'all some real shit that y'all in, in the black community need to be telling y'all daughters. Not saying that y'all daughters are not doing it, but they ain't coming through here. I have not seen too many mixed females. I'm seeing white Caucasian in my city. These are young white Caucasian girls. I I don't hardly see no mixed girls coming through here. These girls are graduating in medical school as registered nursing coming out the gate. Could you imagine being a registered nurse out the gate at 22, 23 years old? making that type of money out that gate at 22, 23 years old. What? Instead of working at McDonald's, see, our people go to McDonald's, Rally's, Popeye's, KFC. And there's, and there's tons of black girls in these jobs. Why are they not in better quality jobs? Why are we not in better quality jobs? We're smart enough. We graduate high school. We go to college. They need to be thinking bigger. I don't have any kids. I'm just saying there should be more. And I live in a majority. I live in a baby Detroit. That's what they kind of call Toledo, like a, a baby Detroit, where there's a lot of black folks. You know, there's white, of course, white folks. But these are all young white girls. There are no black girls coming through this floor. I mean, there's a few, but there's not really. I haven't seen any that come to my room. All these nurses have been white. They've been, all of them been white. Every single one. Now, I've been here, now, when I was here the first time in January, there were, I met like three black girls, four black girls, but that was on a whole different floor. But on this floor, it's a factory of these white people coming in here, becoming young nurses, professionals. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm telling y'all. That's where we missing black people. We are, we need to be doing better with, you know, or some of you need to be, I can't tell you what to do. I'm just saying our culture needs to be better with jobs. We need to be stopping at working at these McDonald's. We need to be in school, educating ourselves, not fighting, not on Facebook, not on Instagram, taking half naked pictures, uh, like, uh, <laughs> I do. Angela Reese couldn't wait. She got. She took some shit, some sexy shit. I had read. I'm like, I knew she couldn't wait. Not knowing you, you dealing with you, you in the NIT. You making millions of dollars. You got sponsors, and you trying to be like these young little young black hoes taking pictures, trying to be sexy. That ain't the way to go, young lady. 